Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tom Braithwaite. I'm president of TWB Designs. I'm the inventor of what you see behind me here is the Emax burner system for uh, small arms ammunition up to 50 caliber. Emax stands for Environmental Mobile Ammunition Combustion System. The Emax burner is capable of disposing of a thousand pounds of small arms ammunition, including an up to 50 caliber, in a 10 hour workday. The metals are uh, separated, the lead from the brass, and uh, recycling is a key component to uh, cost recovery of our system. The Emax burner is going to come in this enclosed trailer, which is a 20 foot trailer, exact same dimensions as a 20 foot sea container. So it can be portable or stationary. It will come with four 30 pound propane tanks and an 8,000 watt heavy duty commercial generator. And it can also be run on butane, natural gas, or JP8 fuel for military applications. We have our large standalone reburn system that operates at 1750 degrees Fahrenheit. It has removable steel plate doors. It has two inches of insulation inside. The plates can be removed for inspection and relining. And this is also where we monitor our afterburner temperature with our temperature probe here. The Emax burner is completely monitored with an electrical panel, as you see in front of me here. We can monitor in real time the afterburner temperature, the work chamber temperature, and we also have a safety feature on here that will shut it down if our exhaust temperature becomes too high before we lose any of our uh, main or HEPA filters. The lights will come on and tell you what cycle it's in, so you can monitor from a distance, or you can approach it and read the actual gauges. We have a main shutoff here, we have an emergency shutoff here, and we also have uh, monitoring lights for your filters if they're beginning to plug and then they'll let you know once they are plugged and they need servicing. We will have a yellow propane line, the blue is an air feed line, spark ignition for the propane system and then electronic eye that will monitor the main flame and then we have safety features which will shut down if the eye does not see a main flame. All this is built to code whatever country you're in and it, they're all safety features that are mandatory on the Emax burner. Overhead, we have uh, a large cooling duct that brings in ambient air from outside down through our main and our HEPA filters through to our exhaust fan before it is exhausted out the top right-hand side of the trailer. When it leaves the, the Max burner, the air is actually cleaner than the cooling air we draw in at the other end, and it's only at 120 degrees Fahrenheit and it started out at 1700 degrees Fahrenheit. The gauges you see behind me here are to monitor the pre-filters. The lower one monitors the main and the HEPA filters and the center gauge there will monitor all filters and will shut the system down if a filter becomes plugged so there is no air pollution. So here we have the work area which is at the end of the trailer. This is our reburn or afterburner system that I described earlier. The hot exhaust gas at 1700 degrees is coming up this way. This is our cooling blend air that I described earlier. We turn it off to the side, tumble it, cool it, and we can go from 1700 degrees down to 300 degrees Fahrenheit in 12 feet so it doesn't burn up any filters. This is our work chamber. The tray is in, it's loaded, the door has been secured shut, the safety door switch has been made, and we have a clean lead catchment bucket down below. Once the ammunition pops off, the clean brass will stay in the tray, the lead will run out the bottom into the bucket, both metals in are ready for recycling. If you'd like more information, uh, please contact me at tom at twbdesigns.com or visit the website twbdesigns.com.